you said in the lok sabha what does who does the railway track belong to you said railways who does the stations belong to railways who owns the train coaches railways who owns the signaling system railways then why is there any talk of privatization here i ask you sir who owns the airports mostly government of india who owns the runways mostly government of india who owns the air infrastructure mostly government of india who sold air india our second railway minister n gopalaswami ayengar from tamil nadu he had a big idea a great idea which has sustained been sustained now for 60 70 years he came up with the idea of railway zones it was not there before that sir after that another great big idea which has sustained over 5 6 decades is madhu dandavate ji where instead of the sleepers just being of wood he thought we should put cushions there and that makes such a difference to the common people who were traveling that is a great idea which has sustained the test of time nitish kumar ji had a tatkal scheme lalu prasad yadav ji had the wonderful garib rath scheme which was his big idea mamta banerji had a vision 2020 document which we'll come to later the duranto express the izzat pass for those below the poverty line i want to ask this government from 2014 to 2021 what's their one big idea which will sustain the test of time 10 years 20 years from now oh why one they'll tell me they've got 5 6 7 so let's go one at a time one day bharat express the one day bharat express the cost of a ticket is 1500 to 3000 rupees somewhere in that range this is your big idea and you are entitled to it keep it because your outlook on the railways is different from the trinamool congress and many other parties outlook on the railways for us the railways constitute the infrastructure for the fundamental right of every indian citizen to move from point a to point b it's a fundamental right as far as transport goes you may look at it differently we don't so so much for your vande bharat let's come to your second so called big idea 2017 subsume the railway budget into the general budget we objected to it that time we object to it now former railway minister now chief minister of bengal said court this will damage the very core of the transport system what is the subsume which has happened tell us lic you said 1.5 lakh crores my direct questions please address it in your answer why was only 30000 crores been given what happened after the first tranche why no further funding tell us about the methodology of funding tell us about lic interest rates tell us about repayment issues address these in your answer will be happy to know your third idea as i said your big idea will never be in tune with our idea because your outlook to the railways is different and our outlook is different fundamental right of movement your third big idea is the train from mumbai to ahmedabad call it super fast call it bullet we feel nothing wrong with a bullet train maybe at some later stage to make that bullet train cost you about 200 crores a kilometer our priority would have been the dedicated freight corridor for sabzi for chawal for gram for everything else at 25 crore kilometers a corridor uh, uh, a kilometer 200 crores 25 kilometers i understand and i'll say this on the floor of the house that bullet train is your vanity project but since we are talking about big ideas let's talk about some of those ideas which were promised in 2022 and we are all so eagerly looking forward to farmer income will double 2022 bullet train will come 
2022, 5 trillion economy, 2022, water and toilet in every home, 2022, electricity for all, 2022. So for those of you who want to bring these high speed trains, nothing against high speed trains, but think of a little railway station called Kitam. It's a small town in Uttar Pradesh. Every day, 96 trains whiz past Kitam on the New Delhi Agra route. Rakesh Jadav, Rakesh, if he was to want to take a train, he would have to take the Agra Delhi passenger, which doesn't run on Sundays. And the average speed of those trains is 30 kilometers an hour. Your priority, our priority. Now let's come to your next big idea. I want to ask you, sir, since we think it's a fundamental right of travel, who told you to shut the railway network down in four hours before COVID? This is a precious resource of our country. You misuse that resource. 120 lakh passengers travel long distance in the railway. Just look at this number, 120 lakh. Imagine you had COVID, COVID restrictions. You cut the number down to 60 lakh. Instead of saying four hours, keep it open for five days, you would not have had the migrant crisis. You would not have had the migrant crisis, sir. And those videos from Muzaffarpur railway station, I don't want to remind you of that, of the little child with the dead mother covered. Because to, yesterday, day before yesterday, was two years of the anniversary of clanging, which... So these are your big ideas, sir. Private trains. You say, this is my big idea. Let's ask you some questions on private trains. Tejas trains halted eight months later. 2021, we are told, dozens of companies filed tenders. Whenever there are RTI activists, and RTI activism is part of our democracy, whenever they write to railway boards, no data available. Who was, what is the communication for these private trains? Sir, there was empowered group of secretaries which were set up by the railway ministry. How many meetings have they had? Share with MPs what was discussed at those meetings. So your next big idea you'll say is, Federalism. I can give you 12, 13 projects in Bengal. Everyone will have their own states. With the allocation for that is 1,000 crores for the year. Whenever there's a problem with the railway work, they'll say state government land acquisition. There are so many other examples to give you. But I thought the real good one is beyond Bengal. It is for the Southern Railway. And this is from the pink book. Now the pink book, which used to come out on the day of the railway budget, I know this subject a little. It takes you weeks to calculate. So after some calculations, Southern Railways got less than 400 crores last four years. The Northern Railways, if you add it up, comes to about 30,000 crores. So I'm not, I'm, I'm not getting into the numbers, but conceptually, we talk so much about federalism, but where is the, fed, where is the, where is the federalism? I can go state by state, sir. So I urge this ministry, since you have a full railway department, of course the joke here was that some people were saying that we first discussed the Northeast ministry, then we discussed the scheduled tribe ministry. Third, I said, which, which ministry are you speaking on? So I said, now we are discussing the PMO. So I urge this ministry. They've got the numbers to share the percentage of what was the allocation in a state. In what percentage has that state been given its percentage? Sir, so, sir, so these are your ideas. Just a minute. Manish Shukla ji. Please, back me. Please, you continue. Sir. Maybe you had some big ideas about the Northeast which we missed. The Imphal railway station is still under construction. Sir, another big idea for the Northeast, who can't afford expensive freights. Do consider, in a bigger way, to make the freight rates affordable in the Northeast. What steps has the government taken? 
to tap the trans asian network sir because there are many of those south asian communities which are closer look at these as a big idea sir look at these as big ideas because as i said your view on the railways and our view on the railways is different i have a copy here of the vision document you're following some of this we are happy i'm reading from the vision document which mamta banerji was chief minister raising the speeds of passenger trains from 130 to 160 kilometers good on track don't forget the regular trains railway should set up 50 world class stations vision document 2010 doing now good you had a lot of experience uh, railway minister first as a bureaucrat and then with uh, adla infrastructure so these are all good experiences for you and you said in the lok sabha what does who does the railway track belong to you said railways who does the stations belong to railways who owns the train coaches railways who owns the signaling system railways then why is there any talk of privatization here i ask you sir who owns the airports mostly government of india who owns the runways mostly government of india who owns the air infrastructure mostly government of india who sold air india so we think sir this government must look at focus differently we will listen here to their seven ideas which are their great ideas you compare those seven ideas to what were previous uh, done by the railway ministry and then you look what touches the lives of people who is our audience who is our consumer because if you think your consumer your co consumer is the passenger who gets on a train in ahmedabad and has to reach uh, mumbai no very good do that but don't forget who this railways is for i will conclude by saying please do remember you are doing nobody a favor and since we have 2 3 minutes time sir we have one more speaker he will take 2 minutes after this so i'll finish before time thank you sir